your help with a little matter. Matter of fact, what I have here is what's called a brown bag of hope. And here are some personal hygiene items. On the mezzanine on your way out this morning, if you wouldn't mind considering picking up one or a few, what these are are non-perishable food items with bottled water. So you might come across somebody this day or this week, or maybe you're here, and this could be your only meal today. We want to encourage you. I have a couple of these in the back of my driver's seat, and often you'll find homeless people right there, either at a bus stop bench, maybe in some shopping center, or the fact matter, somewhere along the line. Wouldn't it be great to just bless them? Some great things are in there. Hope that you'll gather a few of these and take them with you and distribute them. That's the recruiting we're wanting. Well, once again, it's my honor to lead us in prayer. And so you can remain seated, you've done so well, to sing together and just show your respect for the Lord. But let me lead us in prayer, and you're welcome to close your eyes or just enjoy the panoramic view of us being together. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you, because if we come in the name of Jesus, our great deliverer and king, for those who believe. Lord, we want to thank you for this mighty nation called America and the Americans that are gathered here, and our guests from other countries that are gathered here right now. Lord, we ask you to continue to move in the hearts and minds of men and women, children around this great nation, and start with our government. Thank you, Lord, for allowing things to be so simple, once again, that you've asked us to keep two great commands, to love the Lord our God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Lord, would you do that wonderful transformation that you do so well, allowing people to be transformed from within. Do that in our nation. Transform our leaders, our president, Congress, Senate, House, the judicial system. Lord, we ask you to move sovereignly in, in our state, helping our state of California to have a new birth in you. And that, Lord, thank you for this wonderful city, Huntington Beach, how they allow us and welcome churches, allow us and welcome people to come and just share the gospel even on the street, Main Street, here. Lord, we bless our mayor, our city officials, Council, those that work so hard, and Lord, we feel so rested and secure with our first responders throughout our nation. Help our firemen, please, those that are doing significant service to maintain our safety in medical and in professional health. And Lord, once again, we're asking you to just move in our midst. Lord, if there are any one of us who are just feeling destitute, despair, depressed, just broken. And Lord, you would start in our nation right here, right now, this morning, among this group. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Bring healing and hope, restoration and good health to each and every one. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Would you just muffle that word to God? We love you, Lord what you've done, how you have blessed America. We are recipients of the goodness of God over the land. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody shout it. Amen. Thank you so much. And I'm going to welcome you.